And it is day four of our coronavirus fact versus fiction series, and there are a lot of different and sometimes conflicting reports that are floating around about treatments and potential COVID-19 cures. So which drugs are appropriate and which aren't? Here to separate the fact from fiction is family physician Dr. Jennifer Caudill. Good to see you this morning. Good to see you. So what do you make about that? What do you make about so far what we're, what we're hearing about the different therapeutics and the drugs? Well, there's certainly a lot going on. There's a lot of therapeutics that are uh, currently under investigation that we have trials for. Uh, certainly, we all want a treatment and uh, a medication that can treat COVID. We just have to find the right one. And yeah. trials are going to be so important to that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's do some of these uh, fact versus fiction or fact or fiction questions here. Uh, and the first one, scientists have developed rapid coronavirus testing. What do you say? Yeah, that's actually a fact. Um, it's something actually very exciting. As time has gone on, we've seen the collaboration of many scientists, uh, institutions, organizations, et cetera, and rapid testing has been developed for uh, evaluation of COVID, which is a, a very exciting thing. So that answer is fact. That's true. All right, the next one, a vaccine to cure COVID-19 is available. I'm assuming that one is fiction because we haven't heard that one yet. <laughs> Yeah, that is fiction. We do not have a vaccine to cure COVID-19. That, of course, is uh, ultimately what we do want. We know that there are trials undergoing right now to evaluate for a potential vaccine. Um, and we know that scientists are working furiously to try to, to what we call fast track this. You know, vaccines can take years to develop, but we are trying to get this much sooner than that. So uh, it's fiction. We do not have a vaccine yet. Uh, but trials are underway. Yeah, they are optimistic, though. There's some options out there that could end up being the one. They just got to get through the testing and hopefully sooner than later. Uh, here's a new one. Uh, taking your pet's heartworm medicine can treat coronavirus. Yeah, so that is fiction. I definitely do not want you taking your pet's heartworm medication. Um, one of the medications we might be talking about is one called ivermectin. This is an anti-parasitic medication that we use to treat parasites in people, uh, but in animals, cats and dogs, it can be used to uh, prevent and treat, um, uh, rather prevent uh, heartworm in those animals. Um, it, ivermectin has shown some in vitro uh, antiviral activity, uh, but it really has to be studied more. The, the, the bottom line is do not take your dog or cat's uh, heartworm medication. Uh, that is not a treatment for COVID-19 at this time. Okay. Next one. Are antibiotics effective in preventing and treating the new coronavirus? Is that fact or fiction, doctor? That is fiction. So remember, antibiotics treat, um, uh, rather, they, they treat bacteria, okay? So we mm. use antibiotics against bacterial infections. Uh, coronavirus, uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2, COVID-19, uh, that's a virus. So antibiotics are not going to be effective against uh, COVID-19. That is fiction. Uh, antibiotics will not treat this. People mm. probably ask that, maybe I'm assuming, Rob, because of the all the talk about the hydrochloroquine and the ZPAC combo that we've yeah. spent a lot of time Exactly, yeah, absolutely. Uh, how about this one? Doc, vitamin C, vitamin D, or other vitamins can help prevent me from getting this virus. Yeah, so there's not been a vitamin, uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, or other vitamins that have been uh, proved or, or show that they are effective in preventing or treating coronavirus. It's very, very important. I do want to mention, however, that um, physicians and researchers are actually studying the effects of high-dose IV vitamin C uh, on, 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 on patients with coronavirus. That's a, but that's a whole different thing that's under doctor's care. It's IV. It's totally different. Uh, and uh, we're still evaluating that in trials. Uh, the answer is no. That is fiction. Vitamin C, vitamin D, multivitamins will not prevent or treat coronavirus. And uh, what I would also say is that there it actually can be harm to taking vitamins in too high of doses. So do not take any mm. vitamins or supplements before talking to your doctor. That is very important. Okay, good to know. And the next one is, will gargling salt water incre or increasing water intake prevent contraction of the virus? What do you say to that? Yeah, so that is fiction. Okay, I've heard some of these myths running around the internet, things like gargling with salt water, increasing your water intake. I've even heard of things like you know, drinking water every 15 minutes. Uh, all of those are false. It is fiction. Those uh, strategies will not prevent, treat, or cure coronavirus. Uh, that is not uh, a treatment option. Dr. Jennifer Cottle, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. The Fact versus Fiction series. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for part five of this series. series we're going to break down everything you need to know about the reopening of the country. And thank you again, doctor.